Okay, welcome back to the layout. Uh, we're here, gonna be up for a few weeks. Um, a fair few videos, oh, well, a fair, a fair number of videos on the way. We've got some brand new power clips. Yeah, I'm one to replace. I'm one to replace. We'll get new ones soon. While well, the ones, the previous ones, I used, I used for a fair while. Um, but again, I'm one to change. Get new ones at times. The truck's been pretty well cleaned. Um, well, it's um, well, it's good enough. And I've got to tell you now, the um, the smooth running I've been getting from these two, these two newest additions. Yep, to the Steam family. Yeah, of course, the 52XX5274. And LMS Patriot Duke of Sutherland 5541. We're going to take a look at uh, the 52XX running first because we haven't really seen her. Well, a small there was a small clip of her running during my tra during my channel trailer, but that was like two seconds. So we're going to see her. As I said, we're going to see her running properly on the main layout, um, and then the Patriot will be up next. Up next, well, even though of course we saw her, we saw her running on the test layout a few a few weeks back, not long after I got her. You know, she was running pretty well, but practically complete, <laughs> completely completely so the massive difference compared to the way she was running with the standard controllers. And now with the with the, I'm just getting a bit of what like a bit of polystyrene or dust on there. Um, completely different. In fact, um, difference ten times bigger than I thought with the HM2000 in terms of in terms of smoothness but um we're going to take a look at 5274 running now i'll just say quickly she's got all every single extra part on vacuum pipes which i didn't well i didn't need to glue they seem to be staying up well if i if i, I can see them getting loose I, I can glue them on i've i've now recently got some more super glue from the local shop today yeah both power uh, the um vacuum pipes on sorry yeah on but on both ends her under brake rods, for God's sake, don't get me started on how difficult they were to get on. And you could probably just see some some little side steps there over the front wheels. It's strange because the picture of her on her box doesn't show them to have. It doesn't show them to have. Um, it doesn't show her to have them fitted. When usually it does. You know. You know the picture on the front of the box usually shows like, you know, all the extra parts. Well, you know, accessory parts on, including side steps. So I didn't know I didn't know where they went. You know, you know, strange. I didn't know where they went at first until I saw a picture of a, until I saw a picture of a real one. I mean, I had a slight feeling they would go there, but again, not noticing how they, not noticing them on the um, box picture of her. Okay, let's get her going then. Ready. Now she runs pretty well, although, although not really, although not really very fast. And we'll take a look at her low speed running shortly. Let's just get her up to her. Magnificent. She seems to be getting a little bit faster. Well, I'm going to be running her in over these next few days, you know, giving her a few decent runs backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards, and she seemed, yeah, that's definitely a little bit faster than uh, than she was running at this certain speed last night. Again, she's loosening up well, really, you know, loosening up, running in, but she is running absolutely superb. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful, fantastic. She is fantastic. But something else strange that I noticed to do with the Great Western livery, well, this type of Great Western livery. Um, is it YouTube, um, is it GWR941? Apologies if I've got that wrong. But uh, he also told me that he's seen the, he's seen the same, you know, for this type of um, livery with the Great Western letters, a uh, uh, word should I say, words, the, um, the, the two were Great Western livery on um, on not only like tank engines, but on some locos like the twenty eight. This is the yeah the twenty eight XX class, um, which, which is a two eight zero. Just the you know just you know one one of these, but just with a tender instead. Really, um, that he that he's seen it. He's seen it on. Um, he's seen it on them as well. So yeah, um, she's, not, she's not really very fast at the moment, but as she as she loosens up, she probably will get faster. She's absolutely beautiful. She's fantastic. Just look at that. Just splendid. 
She's been having a few little, I'm not sure, as, uh, probably as part of the loosening up really, a few little power sprints where she seems to be suddenly getting faster as she loosens up. Yeah, I'll be able to get it. As I was saying, the Great Western livery like this, it isn't too bad on this side, but on the other side it's, it's out of alignment where the Western, um, particularly again it's obviously the other way around on the other side, but it, um, but it's closer to the wheels than it is to the top part of the side of the side of the boiler. In fact, I'll um, I'll just slow it down a touch. It just it just saves me ta it just saves me taking her off. As she gets round to the door, I'll just open the door and show you that the liver is out of alignment. But it's no serious problem at all, really. Again, again, of course, I've um, heard it's been seen on possibly a few other locos you know where you know just Hornby with their with their this particularly great western livery which is strange let's just come over to the door a second open it make sure there's no train there yep luckily the, the door can go over the track so if you look carefully as she comes in you can see that is slightly out of alignment it's pretty much almost perfect on the other side but if you see that the Great Western, you see that the Western is actually closer to the bottom there. But that, it's, no, it's no serious problem at all because she runs superb. She is absolutely superb. She's beautiful. Just beautiful. Amazing locomotive. Just try getting her, I think the only way I can see him able to get her quicker. Again, I run her for at least about an hour or about, or about an hour and 20 minutes yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I can see her. She's definitely loosening up, uh, loosening up, sorry. Um, getting better, getting faster. You know, you know, this type of tank engine wasn't really built for speed, eh? they, they weren't really built for speed anyway. I'll, we'll, we'll give her one more lap round and then we'll see how well her low, her low speed running is. I'll bring her to a stop first, cause, you know, so then it's easier to get her to the speed that I, well, you know, it's that, you know, so then it's easier to decide what low speed she can handle, although she, although she can Handle practically any, to be honest. Well, any, any low speed. And she's definitely loosening up. Let's wait for her to come round here. And again, there's the Patriot there. Just waiting next. Here she comes. So let's see how well her low speed running is. Well, you can see she come to a very smooth stop. Okay, that's the power off. Just get comfortable with the camera. There we go, just so I can follow her easily. Power on. Look at that. And um, that is just DC, yeah, that is just DC as well. Well, she's a DCC ready loco, but that is just DC. That is DC mode. I mean, all, I mean, all those wheels spinning, it's great to see something like that. Okay, she's coming up to a third radius bend. Now, often locos with a long wheelbase, well, wheel arrangement like this, um, for example, like my 9F, can often struggle. If not too slow, come to a yeah. Well, if too slow, come can, can sometimes pr um, practically come to a halt on a curve tight enough. But let's see how she handles it. Maybe just a little bit faster. Yeah, see so here again. My nine F struggles. Um, well, the more tighter the curve is, the more she slows down. I mean, I, I, I only really run my nine F on fourth radius curves, but as you can see, five two seven four is practically having no difficulty at all, which is fantastic. 
Although I'm not sure about I'm not sure about second radius curves though. You know we know that she can you know that that, that she can well obviously will go around fourth radius, but we know that she can tackle third radius. Well, well um you know um, would go around those anyway. But but we know that she can tackle those. That she can, well she can navigate her. Now never get away around those. Let's just speed her up now. She can never get aw away around those very, very slowly like that. But I'm not sure about second radius curves though. Again, due to that long, that long wheelbase. Well, well, she could probably make it, Robert. Obviously not first radius. No way. But um, I'm sure that well, a nine F will just make it round a second radius curve, but will really struggle. It, it will. It would be really tight, and I've got a feeling that it'll probably be the same for this GWR 52XX280. So, oh, and oh, front coupling as well. That was actually that that was actually pretty easy to get on. Just um, just squeeze it, and it slotted right in. But yeah, um, but I'm not saying that I don't recommend running on second radius curves. If your layout has got second radius curves, you could give it a try. But I'm not sure if she could um, navigate as well because if you lift her off the track and you put her on the track onto a, a curve, a third radius one, it it, it was. Uh, I mean, I tried that. Um, I tried that last week after I got her, and it was a little bit of a fiddle. A few times I thought she was on, but the back wheel was hanging off. But she still can navigate her way around them perfectly. So she's obviously going to pull well. She's she's going to make a great addition. Especially when she's, especially when she's running. So yeah, despite being not very fast, but that's one realistic thing, really. You know. You know, rather than quite, you know, rather than pretty high speed, it's pretty realistic. So again, they weren't really built for speed these ones, anyway. So when she's running, yep, countless videos of well soon coming up videos of her pulling different trains and rolling stock